and this is where I actually start my process, is what we call a two raw conversion. It's actually from Calvin Hollywood, phenomenal artist. Good idea to follow him on YouTube and Facebook and everywhere. But what we're going to do now, and this this is this is interesting. You want to right click on the side there of your layer and click new smart object via copy. Reason why you don't want to just duplicate is any changes you make on this layer now will not affect the bottom layer. Very important. Now it's easy. Double click that image and you'll see it brings up the original. What you do is start with your contrast. This is my technique so your numbers may change but minus 50. Highlights I bring all the way down to minus 100. Shadows all the way up to 100. Blacks down to minus 50. Clarity up to 50 and then I go into my detail tab at the top here and I actually change my luminance to 80 and my luminance detail to 80 as well. Once you've done that go to your HSL grayscale tab and click grayscale. Press OK and you'll see it'll change to a black and white contrasted image. Click your blend mode, go down to luminosity, voila you have immediately altered your image and increased your sharpening in the same process. One more little thing that I do onto this is I add in another filter which is unsharpened mask and leave it at amount 40, radius 40 and press OK. Now with this layer it doesn't increase sharpening, it increases dodge and burn but the two layers together complement each other. So we have a layer that is increasing your sharpness in the image. And if we zoom in here, you'll see this actually is increasing sharpness in your image and removing some noise at the same time. And then the smart object that we've added, or the smart filter that we've added, unsharpened mask, actually adds in contrast, which then enhances your dodging and burning on your clothes and everything. What I like to do on this as well is add a layer mask and I fill it with 50% black. And that way you have the effect, it's still there, but you can come into your layer mask with a white brush again at 40%, I usually use 40%, and you can paint in your details where you want them to be. So you paint them in and you'll notice now when you turn it on and off your image is sharpened and contrast is added at the same time but you can go in and specifically highlight more. So this is very variable. It's according to your eye and how you want to use it.